Martin? Martin? Uh, what, what's happened to me? You were hit on the head. <laughs> uh, uh, my head. Oh, I feel rough. But where am I? Where have you brought me? <laughs> the question you should be asking is, who am I? What are you saying? Look at your body, Martin. What? What have you done to me, you evil hag? Let's say you've been a great guinea pig. You're the living proof that we can control the soul. <laughs> While you were out cold, your spirit was transferred to the carcass of a sick old man. <laughs> Damn witch. I would never have thought you were capable of this. <laughs> Appearances can be deceptive. Your name is Alfie, if I'm not mistaken. A poor, old, homeless tramp. He only found out a few days ago he was about to die. You've only got a few hours left. Still a day of suffering. Why are you doing this? Oh, Martin. I'm so sorry. I could have killed you immediately. You know too much. Mm. Our leader, an old friend of yours, preferred letting you live a few more hours. <laughs> Lorelei. Uh -huh. Oh yes, Martin. Lorelei is my real name. As you can see, many things are not as they seem. Travis will find you. How? Martin has disappeared. No one will ever find the secret laboratory. We've sealed it again. Nobody knows we have the boat. <laughs> and in a few days, someone will find the body of an old man. A poor tramp who died looking for shelter. Lorelei, let's go. The boss is waiting for us. Goodbye, Martin. Or should I say, Alfie? We 
whiskey is powerful stuff. If I'd drunk it, it would have been the end of me. <laughs> Don't know how I can joke at a time like this. <laughs> No, I'm desperate. Oh, Alfie, is that you, Alfie? You old bastard. <laughs> Appearances can be deceptive. You fell asleep drinking a bottle of whiskey in the hull of some ship on the Suez Canal. <laughs> Excuse me, who are you? Alfie, what are you saying? Have you killed a few brain cells? Yeah, I'd left in that head of yours. <coughs> I've had a few big problems lately. Can I ask you a few things? Fire away, you wrinkled old wreck. What time is it? And where are we? You smelly old tramp. Where do you think you are? We're in Degg and Co's abandoned warehouses. Ah, uh, I've got... No idea where we are. About two o'clock in the morning? Perhaps four? <laughs> what do I care? <laughs> Why were you so upset earlier on? Ah, bastard! What? Damn it! I wasn't talking to you! I've lost the medal I got from the police force for having served my country! A swindling truck driver found it and he didn't want to give it back to me. Ah! It was the only thing I really cared about. Where have the people who left earlier gone? Stupid but clever. I saw that old nutter and that girl leaving. <laughs> I I heard where they were going, but you don't get anything for nothing. Life is hard, you crusty old. Bring me something interesting, and I'll give you the information you're looking for. Listen, it's important. You don't argue with old Sergeant Terry!
it has removed the dust like a vacuum cleaner. Oh, <laughs> great, great. A customer just like I like them. A bright face. Eh? And with an eye for a bargain. Some gold or perhaps some brass. And with his pockets full of things to trade. Great, fantastic. Here at Malocchio's, he'll find a way of turning a shirt into a pig's foot. An old book into a wooden knife. <laughs> great. Great boots! <laughs> nah. Hey, they're mine! You stole them, you dirty thief! No, uh, absolutely not. I found them on the roof, just here. Yeah, that's right where I put them. Yeah, I'd lost them. Hmm. So, losers weepers. You found them, so finders keepers. <sighs> okay, I'll give you something for them in exchange. Let's see. Hmm. The key is one of the most precious objects I have. What does the key open? It's a mystery. I'm not sure. That's why I consider it so precious. <sighs> Excellent. If you want the key, you have to give me something more valuable in return. If you want, you can have this. It shines like a star. Where did you get it? It's awesome. Uh, I'm not interested. It's mine now. Uh, um. Yes, yes. Here's the key. It's very bright. What the? What, what the? My medal! I have no idea where you found it! Thank you! Terry, now tell me where those two went. 
It's a matter of life and death. And not just that. They were throwing themselves into a red van. While they were getting in, they said they had to get to dot number nine, near the pier where the freight is unloaded. They're waiting for a ship to leave. Damn. I have to hurry. I hope it's not too late. It's not very far from here. Do you need a map to get to the pier? Thank you. Good luck, Sergeant. Hmm. It's old and battered, but it still works. I don't have much time left. Oh, oh, my energy is leaving me. I have to hurry. Don't worry, Chief. I'm here. Okay. In a few moments, the ship will be here. And I don't want any problems right now. I'll be careful, Chief. What else do you want, Feng? What are we going to do with Nick Gaines? What shall we do with him? Do we need him? We still need him. I want to make sure Eulenberg's machines work properly. But Jinx! Jinx, damn it. He will only cause problems! We've already seen the machine working with Miss Dare! Don't argue. Better go meet Lorelei at the pier. Keep your eyes open, Fing. Make sure Nick Gaines doesn't escape. Professor Mister. <coughs> yes, it's me. I'm glad to see you're still on your feet. <sighs> you must be Professor Eulenberg's assistant, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. I'm the cause of your latest headache, but I had to... I understand. I know who you had to deal with. Listen, I have little time. I have to get back into my body and stop Jinx and his henchmen getting away. None of us have got much time. I could help you, but I really need the Aztec Stone. Or the transmigration process might not be possible. I know the stone is in a safe. I have to hurry. We can talk later. I hope so, anyway.
एस एच Who are you, Nick? What are you doing? Uh-huh. I'm beginning to like you, Nick. If you want, I'll pass you another poster. <laughs> Good idea. Just wait behind the door a moment. Let's see how hard your head is. sorted for now Here we go. This is where the whole story started from. made it now we've got to be quick you have no idea how much i want to get back into my body i'm really suffering and i don't think i can stand this lie down in the boat and i'll take care of the rest <sighs> if i get out of this uh, alive <coughs> i'll have to let my spirit have a good rest too <coughs> Professor Mister, I'm ready to go. Oh, go ahead. Who oh, that devil took the stone? What the hell happened to that idiot Feng? I'll go take a look in the warehouse. I don't think you're going very far. What? 
Alfie? No. I'm Martin Mystere, the real one. <laughs> you never let yourself down. But I think you got here a bit late. Give me the stone. Maybe I'll let you both go. We've already called the police. You won't get away. The police? <laughs> the police will only find three corpses. Three corpses? Why? Why did you shoot me? Jinx! Stupid girl, did you honestly think I'd share this secret with you? Eternity! <laughs> That's too good for a silly fool like you. Damn you! You're unscrupulous. You don't deserve eternal life. You can't change the course of nature. No one deserves eternal life. Alexander and I were wrong. What? Yes, Martin. Nick Gaines, my poor assistant, died in my body at the villa during a crazy experiment. Transmigration of the soul. Professor Eulenberg. So you pretended to be Nick Gaines. <laughs> Two birds with one stone. Two illustrious bodies. Give me the stone. I just have to give the stone to Jinx. This is how I like you, Martin. Give me the stone. What? Why did you do it? Such power lost forever! Don't move. You're surrounded by police officers. Your henchman has already been arrested. You could have sounded the horns. You know, I don't like dramatic entries. Come on, Travis. I would have called you if I'd had a little more information. Ah, uh, Martin, that's just like you. I really had no idea. <laughs> I know you too well. You're too stubborn to ask for help. <laughs> <laughs> Those two idiots, Jinx and Feng, will have plenty of time to think now. But I can't understand Jenna's implications. When she comes to, she'll go keep her friends company. Huh? Right, I'd better go. Ah, Mr. Nick Gaines, that uh, statue. We'll bring it back here to the villa as soon as we get the last findings. And now, a couple of hours sleep. Then, back to headquarters. Excuse me, Nick. Yes, Travis, fire away. That statue, you know, that stone structure, why is it so important? It's a priceless piece. Hmm? Okay, you'll explain everything better in your report, Martin. Another thing, Martin. Yes? That old tramp's corpse found in the statue. Who was he? He must have been a good guy at heart. I owe him a lot. Hmm? Okay, we'll talk about this another time. Good luck, Nick. See you, Martin. It was a good idea not to mention the journey and the boat. I think so. <sighs> right, Professor. The villa will now be donated to charity. That's right. What will you do now? Don't worry about me. I'll be back so you can better explain things to me. My God. I was missing for days and I only called Diana once. <laughs> I think it's about time I went back home to say hello to my wife, throw myself on the sofa, disconnect the phone and everything else. Good luck, Professor Eulenberg. Thanks for everything, Professor Martin Mister. Call me Martin. <laughs> My future. Hmm. There is no future, Martin. The transmigration process doesn't work. <laughs> With the passing of each day, the host body refuses and rejects the new soul and dies. Mother Nature has the last word. That is the right punishment for tampering with the laws of nature. 
Living and dying, body and soul, are just one thing. That is what the ancient Aztecs believed. Revenge will be slow but sure. 